Ah, né? E... If we were in the Sherlock Holmes world, mm-hmm. would you be Holmes or Watson or would I be Holmes or Watson? <laughs> See, this is, this is a very <laughs> difficult question. Watson is a doctor. Yeah. Which makes me think he may more pertain because you're into medicine more. True. I believe, yeah, in Western medicine. But you also care more. So maybe I'd give up on the case. Yeah. <laughs> like, True. And I feel like I'm quite more uh, like fine tooth comb. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. The, um, like, there's always like a scene in the Sherlock Holmes movies or any movies like that where they are running and they have to run through like a masquerade ball or the killer's there somewhere behind a mask. I get swept up in the festivities. <laughs> Why don't we just have one drink, Watson? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, no, that's Sherlock Holmes is like that. He, yeah, but he's on the case at the same time, though. Like, he's doing that while also, like, knocking 10 dudes out while seeing the next 20 moves. See, I've, re- I've got it. Yeah, you would be Sherlock Holmes. I would be Watson because Watson's, like, pretty straight arrow until you until you get him drunk. Yeah. Then he's about having a good time. Yeah, yeah. And he, you'd be like, hey, try this. <laughs> yeah. But then also Sherlock does do, like... Like, oh, he's in, been in his room for three days. What's he doing? And they're like, oh, he's doing, like, Himalayan throat music. <laughs> Jared's new hobby. <laughs> <laughs> you, okay, we've solved the case, mm. Holmes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How white can you get? <laughs> solved the case, Holmes. <laughs> oh, welcome back. Episode 74. 74? Mm-hmm. No, 73. 73. 73. It has. It's been a while. Um we were away. I forgot to mention. No, I did. We mentioned it beforehand. Before we did it, we mentioned that we were going to be away. Mm. And then you did send me a message saying, should we let people know that we're away? And I said, yep, I'll do it. And then I just proceeded not to. <laughs> and I looked at it today. I was looking, I sent you a message about something else. And then I was like, oh, my last message from Andy was like, yeah, should we do this? And I said, yeah. my answer was like, yes, I will do it. And then honestly, I don't remember replying to that message. Nor do I remember even having a thought about it afterwards. <laughs> well, you can't um, you can't beat last year's uh, disc golf shot that yeah. we had, that, and it was like uh, episode's going to be out next week because we're away. Yeah. So I, I I like to take that win. I'm like, yeah, you just couldn't top top the photo. That's what it was. Exactly. That's all it was. <laughs> but yeah, I did I did um did venture down south, but the 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 weekend started earlier. So I went down south on the Sunday, but on Saturday I had a stag do. This is right, yeah. Fuck, how'd you pull up? So stag do was good. Stag do was really good time. I We rocked up. It was my cousin's stag do. Rocked up to the uncles. It was very, like, they were all, I was the outsider. Mm. So it was like a firm group of friends yeah, and yeah. I was the cousin. Yeah. Which is sweet though, because we're all the same age kind of thing. And it was a real good like of course his friends are gonna be good people. Mm. And maybe I'd met the, I met a few of them, but like it would have just been on the piss sometime and passing it like a flat party or something. Yeah. Um Yeah, just got straight into the beers and on a bus and we were heading out to paintball. And this is like in the morning. Where are you, by the way? We're like I was in Tiatu at this point. So, oh, okay, so still in Auckland, not yeah. traveled. No, no, it was all, all around it. Auckland. Yeah, and then got on the bus. I everyone was like, I I kind of realized on the bus when I was like, hell yeah, morning buzz, and everyone was like, what? And then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was quickly like, oh, yeah, are we pulling this bus over? Because I'm going to piss my pants. Yeah. Everyone was like, no, no, we're all good, man. Like, we had to set, like, a beer or two kind of thing. I was like, fuck. Like, I slammed, like, nearly half a dozen before we got we left. And oh, no. Because I was so excited. Yeah. Well, I was so excited. What do you mean? That's, like, standard stag do etiquette. But I also, um, there's been a group chat about this whole thing. And apparently it was mentioned in the group chat, like, don't load up. We'll have a couple of beers early, but don't load up because we're kind of going into a longer bus ride straight away. <laughs> But when the group chat was going off, I was doing a council inspection at work, I remember. And I went to mute the chat for an hour and then I just muted it for good and I never checked it again. 
and I missed everything. Shocker. And I came, I rocked up to Owen people money and like, <laughs> <laughs> but, but that doesn't surprise me at all. <clears throat> you forgot on like a one-on-one message of what I'd sent you. Mm. We learn a group chat. It's getting worse, man. Yeah. Shock, My forgetting is getting worse. <laughs> um, And then, oh dude, when I say that I needed to piss, like, I've needed to wee before. I'm, I'm sure everyone on earth has. I know where you're going with this. And I've been there I've been there once, maybe twice before in my life as well. Yeah. This was up the back. Yeah. Throbbing like like I'm aware of wees being made in the kidneys that might be wrong or something. Um <laughs> but I sent the lady a message and I said, if I get a UTI from holding in this wee for so long, do not be shocked. Okay. <laughs> Because my Is that a thing? Yeah. Oh. Um my back was so sore, like I had a genuine muscular complaint. <laughs> but eventually got out, sprinted straight into Woodhill Forest as soon as we parked up, let this wee out, gushed it. And then, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but then as soon as I let it out, I was waiting for that feeling of like, ah. Oh, Oh, still but pain. Just pain. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, man. Like, this is, I feel like there may be a little bit of damage done here. Short lived. Yeah. Felt pretty good, like, fucking 20 minutes later. But for a second there, I was like, did you oh, time it as well? Here we go. You know, no. those ones that you're like absolutely busting for, and you're like, fuck, this is, I'm going to hit the minute mark. Oh, it was one of those ones where I was like, and that's a normal wee still going, and that's two <laughs> wees. <laughs> but then. <laughs> I have double weed. <laughs> yeah, I have weed for three, please. <laughs> and I, I I was weeing, and then as I was weeing, yeah, like I said, like my freaking kidneys were aching and my back was sore, and at no point did I feel like I was letting wee out. So for the whole start of the day, I just had this like weird feeling of being like full of piss and like having a sore back. And then, then you're hitting the kidneys by a paintball. Oh, then we get there, and then like you got to be a... No disrespect to paintball, but I'm about to disrespect it. And it's right. You, you've you've pre- pre- <laughs> prefaced it by saying yeah. no disrespect. It's like there's no offense, people. Yeah. No offense, but you're an asshole. <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> well, you did say it. But to work, like to take your, like the young folk that work at the paintball place that are so enthusiastic about it, like, yeah. What cool that you've found your niche. I guess I'll dress it that way. Cool that you've found your niche. Because mm. Lord knows you'd be lost anywhere else. <laughs> we yeah, get this not, guy. Not much transferable skill there, I, I think. And um I don't know how much you're getting paid for mm. for that gig. It's but not even that. It's just like the dude that gave us the intro thing, his personality was like, Oh, you're a paintball guy. Yeah. And he had that like um that accent of i go online a lot and i'm kind of english and he was like you will all listen to me (laughs) (laughs) attention like not how you address a stag do either yeah (laughs) yeah. everyone's like he's like have you all paintball before and then like like one of those like literally like one of those guys (laughs) and then (laughs) we were all like yeah like we've done it a little bit and he was like like you could be louder. We, oh no! <laughs> and he was, yeah, like the safety oh. stays on. You never point it in the face. And it was like, dude, like this thing isn't real. Like I, I get that secondhand embarrassment and cringe. Like whenever you're in like an auditorium and they're like, I can't hear you. Yeah. Or, and the, or like the um, you know, someone that you, you go in for training. Like yeah. I went into this like work permit training when I was in the city, um, and some and again. Good on you for being enthusiastic, but like it was for how to fill out a hot works permit yeah. for a day long training. <laughs> and it was just like, oh man, I just got secondhand embarrassment. I was just like, did you ever get those talks in high school where those dudes would come in from like, um, like youth town or something like that? And they'd bust in, they'd be like, touching girls is no unless they say yes and they'll be like my name is dominic and i used to get bullied and wedgied for having skin tags but now i'm cool and then he'd be like hands up if you've been bullied and everyone would be like like i'm gonna put my fucking hand up i'll get a wedgie for it someone throws an apple at him and then he's like i can't hear you yeah and everyone's like 
you were here last year. Like, <laughs> Dope. Right <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, you like, put weight on. <laughs> <laughs> He's going through a divorce. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Dominic. Yeah. God, imagine, it must be so terrifying, though, going to like a thing of like high, like a boy's high school of like a group of guys that are all chummy and just ready to roast at all times. Exactly. And why Why are you going in with, with that energy? Yeah. Like, you know Does anyone know how to put on one of these? And he's got like a condom. And you're like, dude, that thing's been in your wallet for six years. Chuck it out. <laughs> But yeah, that was my thoughts on the paintballing guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm and he, right he kind of gives you. us like the whole 411, gets us all hyped, doesn't get us all hyped. And then we were like, yeah, sweet. Let's just kind of get into it. We put the um the rags on and whatever. Um, mine's got a fucking, the whole gooch has been ripped out of it. So oh. my meat and veg exp- exposed because like I didn't think that we would be getting overalls. I wasn't sure of like what the play was for it. So I wore my painting clothes for the house because it was like, who cares to get paint on it? Mm. And that Smart. was short shorts and like a T-shirt that had like like holes in it kind of thing. <laughs> so, yeah, very exposed. <laughs> and then, yeah, we kind of ripped a paintball, played a few games. Dude, we pwned some people because we, we had to sit around for an hour and then we were like, what are we waiting for? Let's just get into it. And they were like, oh, we're going to merge you with other groups. Which is, I don't want to do that. Nah. Yeah. I don't want to do that either. It's like same with golf or something like. Yeah. Don't partner me up. Like I know it's easier for you logistically, <laughs> mm. but one, we partnered up with a twelve-year-old birthday party. Oh god. And the other thing was, it completely overcrowded the map. Yeah. And they were like three, two, one, go, and you see like. <laughs> oh. <fuck>. And <laughs> no shit. <laughs> There was a guy beside me that had like ammo belt, like 12 year old kid. Maybe he was a little bit older because he kind of like was the alpha of the group. He was maybe like the 14 year old brother or something, <laughs> but he had like, he had his own personalized helmet oh, shit. and he was like, had like the double trigger thing. Yeah. And you know, when that's going on, it's like, you'll be working here soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, you know, <clears throat> we are a fortress, like someone run for the flag. And then like, you drags me come with me and i was like off and <laughs> scram dweeb <laughs> and then he was Just like turn around and shoot him <laughs> yeah Fuck you're off. out <laughs> <laughs> and he <laughs> i was just chilling behind a barrel <laughs> and he's like <laughs> I can see you like parked out, like sitting on Dude, the. I was cross legged, sitting in the dirt, like cross legged in the pine needles. <laughs> safety on. <laughs> like, uh, uh, time for a smoke break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go win the war. Yeah. <laughs> go team. Lay out a little napkin <laughs> every so often. Just go yellow base. <laughs> and but no, this dude grabs There's me, no dra- yellow flag, drags me over to cover, and then he was like. Okay, cover me. And I was like, sweet dude. And then he just put his, he just stood up, unloaded like a hundred bullets or like fucking heat, unloaded his whole hopper. And then he just got like, Ugh! comes back down, his whole visor just splattered. Headshots don't count though, luckily. Yeah. And then so, he was like, so you did not cover yeah. him. He goes, I've made a critical error. And I was like, what happened? He's like, I'm out of ammo. I was like, it's the start of the first game. We've got five to play today. Uh, and he was like, it's okay. And then just like <laughs> reloads back into it. And then rolls out of cover. And I was like, later, dude. All right. And then, <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Just kamikazes it. At this point, I'm facing the wrong direction. And I was like, I'll get involved hung my hand over the barrel and just shot into the distance. <laughs> like just one every like seven seconds. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> shooting everywhere. Just one of those like periscopes that looked over the top, but it was just like a, a real like willy nilly hand holding a gun. <laughs> Fuck, I could have been shooting straight up in the air for all I know. But I was just like, dude, I just don't want to get hit. I can see you like parked up with like a submarine mirror. <laughs> <Yeah>. Just... <laughs> <laughs> like extended over the barrel yeah, like. I'm just playing angry birds 
But it, it got to the point where it was like, someone was like, yo, we're actually close to clutching the dub here. And I was like, all right, my time to shine. <laughs> Ran up, hid behind another barrel, and then just Set got... Back down. I was like, I have a fantastic angle. It just got smoked in the ass. Oh. And I was like, what? Turns out my caboose was hanging out the back end. <laughs> I walked out. I was one of the last ones in the first game. I was like, oh, sweet. Oh, yo, so it was... Uh, it was capture the flag, yeah, like... Hit and you're out. You know, no rolling subs or whatever it's called. Uh, <coughs> at that point, it was. All right. Nice. Fuck. Yeah, and then we went into, like, a um, zombies versus humans mode where the humans have, like, a slow spawn cooldown time. So, like, they have to go chill at the back for, like, 50... A couple of minutes but zombies can just you just got to run to the back fence touch and you can get into it Mm. but the way it's set up is that there's like um a whole lot of cover uh, closer to the human side and then if you're a human the aim of it the guy said was to like just push forward until you've completely used all the cover and then just keep pounding the zombies as they run and come back and then eventually with five minutes to go they say no more respawns and then you just run them out of numbers which is what we did. Our team, we didn't lose a single thing. But that's sorry, that sounds like shit if you're a zombie. Yeah, but you do both. You get a chance at being both. Yeah, but fuck that. <laughs> what, 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 why do I? Do, I wouldn't want to just run at a team that has the cover. Well, you're and then meant run to. Back you're meant to then... push them off because the zombies. No, you've got so much more respawn because if you shoot a human, can... yeah, if you shoot a human, they have to go out for a lot longer. So that's your chance to push, mm. and then you take the cover. But. I don't know. In the end, at this point, he was like, out of bounds is all the way down there. And I was like, sweet, later. (laughs) Zipped right downhill, parked myself down at the... Barrel! (laughs) No, I had a mean spot in this. I was like in a little like valley and I just peered over the rise and it just got to a point where I was like, yeah, a lot of action's in the middle. And then, (laughs) I'll admit it, I fucking cheated. I shot a dude, he was running back. I gave him six in the back for good luck. (laughs) Fucking zombie. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make sure you're dead. <laughs> and then... Double tap. Flipped over. Got to the... Um, I became a zombie. Like, my team became a zombie. Got the comeuppance. Um, at this point, I was getting low on ammo. And I hung around the back. And like a gatherer foraging for berries, <laughs> I was just picking up stray bullets off the ground, which they said was the number one rule because it'll jam your gun. Yeah. And I was like, fuck it, man. I don't want to pay 30 bucks. So I was just chucking them in, biffing them at people, throwing pine cones as distractions. Yeah, those are grenades. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was the cool thing about it was that everyone on the stag dude was like between 25 and 30 all COD players. So you just hear like, Tangle Sucker! And then <laughs> oh, someone, cool. yeah. And then it got to the point where I was like, yeah, fuck it, man. I'm going to re- get real involved for this one as a zombie. Got smoked. Yeah. I got s- obliterated. But... We ended up actually doing quite well. And I was like, oh, we're really losing this game. All of a sudden, we do this huge push. And I was like, okay, if we can get to that last line of cover, then they have nothing. Mm. So this was my, like, hero moment, nice. as to say. I had to cross, like, a no man's land to get behind this tomb, which would be the ultimate cover. And then from there, we could just pick them off. And I run to the tomb, get there. I'm... You know, at this point, I'm like 15 meters ahead of the rest of the team. And I'm, I'm giving them the whole like, <laughs> we're good to go. Yes. But then I turn behind me and I have run past the front member of their team. And it oh. is it is this oh. little boy <laughs> crying. Oh, real. Borderline crying, I'll okay. say. But he is fearful. He, is, he knows he's surrounded. So I give him three. <laughs> three in the chest he oh. stands up goes fuck this and then walks off and then i got pelted in the knuckles like four times oh, yeah those that hurts yeah and then i was like well that's me but then from there because i got that ground the team pushed and we clutched the dub in an unlikely victory nice and oh. then i just got we went to pubs and shit after that got hammered ended up um getting like yeah ended up on k road nice. <laughs> yeah yeah I don't, I don't think i'll ever um ever play paintball again to be fair, I've had d- way too many. And I'm not going to go through it now, but I've too many uh, occasions where I've just been absolutely throttled, and it just doesn't seem enjoyable anymore. Yeah, I I really enjoyed it as like a teenager. I don't I don't know if it was more. I was more fearless. I didn't care about the pain. My want to hurt know. others isn't outweighing <clears throat> that the want. too. Yeah, yeah. 
That's right. Yeah. I don't know. And then just like Jordan Stagg do where we all lined up. Like, yeah, ran the gauntlet. And, but it was a shit gauntlet and they brought like more people in to shoot at us. And it was, yeah. like, it was like 30 people long. It was just like ridiculous. And I was asking someone, a guy that like lived out that way where we went. And I was like, oh, we, I've done that one before. He's like, bro, have you read the Google reviews for that place? Yeah. And I was like, no. Nah. And he was like, it's rogue as fuck. Yeah, it is. It's like a, it's like a fucking no man's land. It's in a paddock. <clears throat> I know it's fucked. It was funny as though, but yeah, I ended up, um, crawling into bed between 2.30 and 3. And then like Homer Simpson, when he just lays his head down and goes, whoop, time to get up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was up before 6 again. Oof. Um, We were heading out to the airport. It was flying down to Queenstown. How was the flight? We you, oh, you pull up man. all right? You always do though, right? Yes. So I kind of like... There was head noise. There was head noise. Yeah. I'll say that. Yeah. Um. I felt good at the start because I woke up and I was like, holiday time, hell yeah. Mm. Then I got to the airport and it was like, oh, a lot's happening. It's bright. I completely forgot all my carry on. <laughs> all I had on me was an eye mask and my AirPods in my pocket. An eye mask? To cover my eyes. Oh, yeah. fuck, we've been through this again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you say eye mask, I'm thinking like iPhone, I pods oh, yeah. or, or whatever you know what I mean? apple eye mask yeah but yeah i had my eye mask and then um yeah damn yeah kind of fucked that up got on the plane and at this point i was starting to feel a little bit sorry for myself i was tired not sickly at all like that was all good mm. but just down and out and thinking like god i don't want to be on this fucking plane yeah and when you're in a good mood, the flight to Queenstown is so short. Yeah. When you're in a bad mood, it is like flying to friggin' Dubai. <laughs> I was restless. I put, I was like, okay, sweet. Well, I'll put my music on shuffle and I'll get something to, you know, it'll zone me out for a bit and I'll just have a snooze. Mm. I get served up a shit sandwich straight away. Oh. Coldplay starts playing. <laughs> And not the happy sell out the gigs Coldplay. I'm talking like season finale of Grey's Anatomy, make you tear up kind oh, of Coldplay. No. <laughs> All sorts of things are running through my head at this point. I'm sitting there, I'm like, this plane's going down. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Mum's dead. What? Fucking, you know when you just start listening to music and then you're just like mourning people that are still alive? <laughs> and you're like, God, if I die, what would my friends say about me? <laughs> God, I've done nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Getting this, real existential with it. Yeah, that most might be the most real chat I think I've ever heard. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know when you're in a bad mood and you're driving as well, and yeah. the music comes on, and you're like, "Fuck." Yeah. And this was just on. This was on a come down of. <laughs> but in my head, I was like, you know, oh well, Jerry, you had a good one. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't gonna be much longer now, boy. And then, and then I get served up some banana bread. Oh, yeah, can't stomach it. You're that like, gets tucked into the seat in front of me. You're like headphone off. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Sorry, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got upgraded. Yeah, <laughs> headphones back on. Yeah, fuck, fuck my life. but then it gets to a point where I'm like, all right, I'm leaning way into this. I'm gonna freaking steer into the skid here. I cure. I'm, I'm on. The, I'm on the fray. How to save a life? Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? I've got all air cons on me because I'm sweating bullets. Yeah. <laughs> but then, yeah. Um, Careful of those downward spirals, though. Yeah, but fuck, man. Like, you, when you're in it, and, like, my, my thoughts were like, let's just feel this. Mm. Your body wants it. Let's just feel this for a while. <laughs> and, you know, like, it's like after having, like, a good cry or a good suck. Afterwards, you're like, I'm all feeled out. I cannot feel anything but happy now. Mm. So when I got off the plane, I was just buzzing. Fuck yeah. It's not a bad bad way to look at it. Like, mm. you know, yeah, like you have those da they have that real down moment, but mm. you like turn into the skid and then it's like all done. Yeah. Moving on. It happens to me all the time. Yeah. Like when it happens, then like after a while, you're like, huh, I just don't feel as enthusiastically sad about it as I was before. Yeah. Oh, well, and that music's passed. got a real big oh, yeah. thing to play. Oh, yeah. Especially like um, 
like go to songs yeah for like when you're sad because then all of the other times you were sad also like combine yeah but yeah <coughs> we pretty much got to queenstown there queenstown was sick man i won't fucking delve into like every day we shredded some, snowboarded some powder yeah oh we got we actually got stuck in a whiteout for two days which was pretty gnarly um trying to like we got stuck around the other side i had uh plenty of powder too nice different story but yeah uh, not we'll go there later yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then better than that now it was fucking sweet man you know what those holidays are like it's very up early hit the mountain down beers um I, snow orientated i only know second hand but yeah but no it was fucking sweet um nice. got a got, yeah got a 90 minute massage that was wicked yeah so we was yeah i was kind of talking full about body it. yeah full body walk in and i you know you always size up the lady doing your massage first um <laughs> <laughs> but first thing i see what? First thing I see when I walk in and this lady says, you know, jump in, delts. She's built. True. Yeah, and I was like, oh, hell yeah. Cracks the knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sit down, sir, yeah. she says. Come in, dread it. Whoa, gee. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> I just tripped over my own tongue. But yeah, she's built. And then I was like, all right, thank you. Like a kayak racer. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Renowned for their doubts. Yeah. Are they? Um, wait, where, where's your doubts? Shoulders. Again. Yeah, yeah, shoulders and traps, right? Yeah. I don't have know. Kayak look, races. Have were... a look at Lisa Carrington's fucking shoulders, mate. Really? Ka- yeah. Lisa Carrington. Not shoulders. rowers. Kayak, you know, like the forward kayak. Holy hell. Yeah. Holy shit. She looks like Anton Leonard Brown. <laughs> Buzzy, eh? She's stacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's who you want massaging you. In a respectful way, Lisa. Just saying. Just, yeah. Like, she got she got muscle in the, all the right places. Shout out to Lisa Carrington of Doubts. Mm. Um, but, yeah. Lay in the bed. Electric blanket. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder if we went to the same place, because mine was like that. More than likely. Mm. More than likely. Um. And then they start getting into their work. I drift off. I'm in and out of consciousness for 90 minutes. And at the end, I am head to toe in oil, <laughs> electric blanket. And I'm starting to think, shit, it's getting real hot in here. Yeah. And then I'm on my back. It's running off my forehead. And I'm very conscious of like, this lady can probably see me breaking out in like a wicked sweat right now. Damn, like... Mm. You've got doubts. Wipe my head. <laughs> <laughs> but then I, I know what you mean because when you're down there and you go for a massage, like they overcompensate for how cold it is, right? There, I wasn't like, cold to begin with. Like just no, nah, but like inside. generally, like winter down in the south, right? It's cold, so they like automatically just in like a waiting room, the temperatures yeah. they're already blasting heat, and then they like try to heat up the actual rooms, and, and then yeah, but I heat up under a sheet like yeah. that. Yeah. Like I, I, I run warm i can't wear a beanie for too long like oh no (laughs) no 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 um but yeah and then it ends and she was like okay but i'll give you i'm gonna shoot out of the room i'll give you a second to get clothed i peel the sheets off me and there is a perfectly sized jared outline of sweat full body across (laughs) all the sheets said to the lady i was like do you sweat like a fucking pig through that and she was like no it was really cozy she can sleep with an electric blanket and odie on no issues but yeah i freaking cooked like i was good to eat in about 20 minutes but isn't it like i swear there must be some sort of like medical thing where like women are usually colder than men because most of the guys like, yeah there's got to be something in that like it's everyone i talk to right girls are usually colder and they like fully yeah. rugged up no then, boyfriends let me put my feet on you yeah, <laughs> yeah. and whereas like the guy is like just needs a sheet and maybe like socks yeah. <laughs> like, i'll hang a leg out and keep it below the nipple line yeah there's got to be something uh scientific but or yeah, medical it, in I, it. yeah like i was saying it was freaking nice because i was genuinely sore from like a couple of days of snowboarding and everything to um do all that got away no injuries until nice literally 
the second half of the last day on the mountain. No. I didn't it's not a bad injury, like I'm fine, but I said to Ryan, I was like, I'm fatiguing, I can tell. And you can tell like it's really easy when you're snowboarding to tell when you're fatiguing. Every little turn you do, you might catch an edge a little more, you're starting to fall, the tricks aren't landing, all your little ollies and one eighties and everything like that. And then <coughs> there was a rail that I'd been hitting pretty con- like I hadn't fucked up on it yet. Mm. And I was kind of saying, like, all right, well, this is like one of my last runs. I'm just going to. I looked at the rail and then in a moment of like, Jesus, take the wheel, I blinked and I was just approaching the rail. And I was like, damn, like your run up and the way you set up for the rail is important. You have to hit it on the right line. Otherwise, you're just going to skid out on it. Mm. And that is exactly what I did. Ooh. And I landed on it 50 50 to. And then you kind of go like, ollie off it but as i ollie off it i was my weight was distributed poorly and i pushed my board off the rail Slip and i just back. slipped back missed oh. the rail luckily but just back slammed on the ice on the landing pad and just went <laughs> <laughs> and my brother said it looked pretty gnarly from the top but i, I think more funny than anything yeah. but it was just like it sucked because i was like oh, i actually had a pretty good run and then just that last bit was like all right jared like you, you knew to listen to your body before this Let's hang up the phone. Let's call it a day. There's nothing worse than like people laughing at you when you eat shit. Not because like you're in pain, but because you you know that it probably is funny as fuck oh, yourself, yeah. but you're oh, in yeah. pain. So at the, at the time you can't like wrap your head around that. Oh, how quickly I just got up and carried on. <laughs> yeah. Get away from here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If no one, like, God, God, I hope no one saw it as there's like a chairlift going over. <laughs> You're on the big screen. It's yeah. like, white pal. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the nerd? <laughs> <laughs> just like playing it like. <laughs> oh, let's get another angle of that cotton. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Well, yeah, how are you? I'm good, man. Um, where to begin? So, the night before you had the stag do, I went out. Um, I ended up. Well, I watched the wires with Ryan and uh, Dirty Mike, and the boys flicked me a message like, "What are you up to?" Mm. And I was like, "Not much. We've got a buy. Let's go out." So I went around to their flat in Ponsonby, <coughs> and then ended up going out. Um, K road and stuff and having a good time and ended up back at the flat. It's starting to get late. And then we're like, Oh, casino. All right, sweet. So we left the flat at 4am to go to the casino. Nice. Not knowing that they stopped serving drinks at 4am. Yeah. Somehow the three of us absolutely cockeyed and still got through the bounces. Hell yeah. Got over to the pokies slapping away. And, uh, I've, I uh, walked away with four hundred and fifty dollar win. Fucking oath. Yeah, she paid for my evening. <sighs> so I said, uh, "See you later, fellas." Walked out of the <laughs> walked out of the casino. <laughs> Thank you for the <laughs> night. Yes, yeah. slid them a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> now they only give me fifty. So I was like, <laughs> yeah. damn. And I wonder if it was a play because I couldn't put fifty into the machine. We got a high rolling machine. I don't know. I'm sure you could probably go and exchange it or something i don't know i couldn't even see straight i didn't know yeah. what I, I was probably slapping the buffet at that point yeah. <laughs> like so, so, why aren't you working yeah. this lady's like get off me yeah. <laughs> so, so i was like fuck it and then uh caught the uber ride home just to see the sunrise oh beautiful yeah. a beautiful sunrise over the tiara two motorway yeah. yeah that's right <laughs> Fuck, and then uh, yeah, I woke up like 3 p.m. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> it was so weird. Like waking up and then like, you know, like just get situated and the sun starts going down again. And you're like, yeah. whoa, what the, f- the yeah. weird old weekend, man. Um, And then, yeah, I put it down to that. Uh, I ended up getting crook airs. It's flu season. So yeah. A lot of people getting sick. Yeah, it's the planes. I, uh, <laughs> I didn't go on a plane. <laughs> At least I don't think I did. Um. Yeah, and so I ended up having like three days off work last week. Just crook heads. You probably hear it in my voice a bit. Yeah, same Z's. Um, and then, yeah, this weekend, fuck. Um, we had top of the table clash. My football team uh, unfortunately lost. First loss of the season. Boo. Which was really disheartening. I was I was pretty fucking angry, to be honest. Not at my players, just 
just the situation and, and i won't go into just it. at the we're, football gods yeah just i won't i won't um won't bore you guys with it but it, i was just really pissed off i've had time to chill out and i'm um, looking forward to it we're still top of the table you know still ha- one hand on the trophy it's okay um just lubed it up a bit it's a little bit slippery though now so that's it like I said, you got to get a bit of adversity. A clean run's cool, but like, yeah. I don't know, watch the blind <clears throat> side or something. You need some travesties before you. <laughs> yeah, so it's um, it'll be good though. Like I said, that this the um, the script is written. I, I can't wait for um, for our next game. But yeah, apart from that, bro, <clears throat> it was nice. Oh, they finally finished the bathroom in the house the the flat room staying oh sweet so i've got my own bathroom finally do a like, poo yeah yeah <laughs> instead of going downstairs and like into their ensuite yeah every morning yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was not a sound bite off, that was off that the was, dome that was, yeah. that was a freestyle fart oh damn <laughs> oh bro did you see um the pictures of um why why we're no the hot pools well like what is it the so why why wearer or why wearer if you're white as is getting bowled down now like mm-hmm. it's been out of business for a while i'll show you the um save post fuck i can't find it um <laughs> and it looks like a looks like something out of a like a horror film or like a oh like i a, love pictures of like, like deserted <clears throat> like theme parks or something like that yeah, it's like or something like like a like, ruin. Like someone got like kidnapped and they like held them there. You know, it looks yeah. like it's so fucking weird, but it's like airy because you know the place. Yeah, cool you, cod map. Like looking at like Bob's mistake. Like I never been there. What? No, I went to Parakai. God damn. Yeah, sorry. Oh, uh, what? So this is not gonna. <laughs> you're not gonna even. How do you even find safe? Oh, shit? I always wanted to go there, but wasn't allowed. I don't know how you find save shit. Take the wheel. I'm gonna. I need to find this. All right. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I <laughs> uh, <laughs> bet it looks weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, we always went to Parakai, which, from what I've heard, Waiwera was the place to be. Um, Parakai was good for poos in the pool. Um, <laughs> And putting a whole rugby team down the two slides that they had. And yeah. you clogged it up. There was one time we clogged the whole thing up with our rugby team. And then one guy, this guy called Eric, he got, he was at the front and he came out the tunnel first at the end of it where you've gone to the pool mm. and just 25 dudes piled on top of him. He got pushed to the bottom of the pool, came up, one side of his face was just completely graded. And, yeah, it was just like, oh, play on. But yeah, he freaking like ripped his freaking cheek open because he got pushed straight down. And then, like I said, people do code browns in those pools all the time. Like it was to not get like syphilis in your face or something after that. <laughs> I don't know how it works. But yeah, disgusting. There you go. This would be Give a, me a look. It would be a good cod map. <laughs> oh, Bob's mistake. <laughs> you can't say it like that if you don't know what it is. <laughs> It was basically a Bob's mistake was a slide that like just went straight down, but then like it feels like it just cut off halfway down because mm. they didn't finish the slide, but then just like drop into the pool. I, I believe that is pretty wild, right? Pretty wet and wild. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, R.I.P. Man, uh, there was a lot of good times at that place growing up. It just looks weird. Anyone that um grew up on the coast. Go have a look at those photos on NZ Herald. It's hectic. I'd like to make this a regular thing. Um, so people send them in if you have any ideas. But the game is basically overrated or underrated. I'm going to give Andy some things. I have my thoughts about these things written down here. Andy, you tell me if you think they're <coughs> overrated and underrated and a brief description on why you think so. I'm ready. There is no limits to what you can send in. You can send them in at any time. And we will go through them. And then the funniest ones are the ones that we think that might be be the most thought provoking we will read out i'll put a post up or something about it the first one i have for you andy do you think amish people overrated or underrated underrated man they got skills like without any um, electrical tools and things like that like that's that's some serious skill nice Uh, for me i went overrated 
uh, for my reasoning, it's it's hard to trust someone that doesn't know how to turn a PlayStation on. <laughs> and it's like there's fear. Oh, you're going that deep. There's was... fear. There's fear in like I don't know what you know, and I also don't know what you don't know. Like I just don't know where you're at as a human. <laughs> and it's quite cultish. Yeah, I, I, I can see where you're coming from. Beard but, with no mustache, always weird. Yeah. I, 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 I'm going to stick with um, underrated. I think the some of the skills that they have with the tools that they have, both with farming and construction and all that sort of stuff, is pretty impressive. With the Amish, because at one point in time, that's how everyone lived. Did they just go like, oh, this is the fucking golden era. <laughs> and like, we're not changing either. It's like you play a video game and like they split off, like one stays where yeah. it is and then they continue another game. Yeah, someone that just never like... You just never do <coughs> missions after that. You're yeah. just happy staying where you are. You're just happy playing Halo 2 for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the next one I have for you. Skydiving. Overrated. Who wants to hurdle to their death with a fucking bit of uh, cloth hanging <laughs> on? <laughs> I was looking for the word there. I don't want a backpack with a cloth held by strings being the thing that keeps me from falling to my death. No, thank yeah. you. Um, I went underrated just because <laughs> we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna disagree on this whole list. <laughs> just because um for logistical reasons it may be something I never do. So I would like to I consider it very cool. I don't know. Tried why to you, do it. I don't know why I contacted my ear, nose, and throat guy and said <laughs> I sent him an email, right? This is the surgeon that operated on me when I was younger a dozen times. And I sent him an email, I said Hey, it's Jared. You might be familiar with me. Can I go skydiving? Never replied. Oh, and I said to Dad, Doc. I said to Dad, I was like, Cop, Cop Nick, who Dr. Nick, who didn't reply. He actually was Dr. Nick. Dad was like, I don't think that it's a specialist is going to give you medical advice after not seeing you for 20, like nearly 12, sorry, 12 years. Yeah. Over the email. <laughs> Fair enough. Wait. The email. This before we continue, this ties on really well to Andy's baffles. Oh, Andy's baffles. Yeah, I've uh, I don't know what I can't remember what I was watching, but this baffled me. Right, <laughs> like doctors and dentists. Right, when when they're finished, they give you lollipops. Yeah. Right, which are bad for you. Yeah. Which in turn give them repeat business. They're all in cahoots. What the fuck? <laughs> I've got a hairdresser's in on it too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah, just I don't know. Well, maybe it makes your hair go gray, and they know they're gonna have to dye it. Oh, who knows? Tell you what, Andy, it feels like the whole world's clipping a ticket, and we're missing out. Yeah, I'm gonna start handing out lollipop. No, I'm not. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch that. Back to the quiz. <laughs> All right, overrated or underrated? Origami. <laughs> I'm gonna say highly underrated. There's fucking that. Uh, I've tried on origami. I've done a few. Um, I've done it a few times. It is. It's difficult to do. Like, I think as like a like young kid or like tween. I wanna say like twinks. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Back when I was a twink. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like look at videos and like. I still remember how to make like a samurai hat. I think it's underrated. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, I also have underrated. Um, my <coughs> old, scaly, withered, most likely arthritis riddled hands when I get older will never be able to pull off, like pull off the diff that's needed to construct those things. Mm. Also, have you seen like the world champ origami stuff? No, I haven't delved that far. <sighs> have I got something for you? How do you pull up Google Chrome on this thing? Wait, give me another one while you're searching this thing. Game of Thrones. Oh, now, well, this is the tricky one. I've not read the books, so I feel like that's a big part in the question, um, with to whether it's underrated and overrated because people would compare the books to the TV series. Um, I have watched the TV series. I watched it. I think last year. Look, an armadillo. That's paper. So is this dragon. 
Bruh. Dragon but, it, but at what point does that become like paper mache? Like, are they sticking multiple bits together? Or is That's that, what I mean. I'm not going to sit like here and one, pull up a video, but it's got to be folds and tucks. Is that like one bit of A4 paper, though? You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't have the <laughs> logistics on the world champs of origami, but if you just give me a minute. <laughs> um. <laughs> Wait, back to Game of Thrones. Um, ooh, I thought it was extremely good. I thought for a long time... Uh, that it was <clears throat> overrated, but I actually hadn't seen it yet. So that's probably where that came from. Yeah. Um, Cause I'm not usually a fan of some, like something that like takes the world by storm. And then I like to be like, nah, yeah. like I, I prefer, contrarian. Yeah. I prefer this cause of this. And that shows that people don't necessarily watch, but um, I don't think it's either appropriately I th- rated i think it's exactly rated i think yeah. it is pretty fucking phenomenal but you know it's i can't say it's overrated because you should fucking watch it yeah but it's not like underrated like because because everyone fucking loves it for yeah. me from where i stand with it i have it as underrated mm. because a lot of people a lot of hardcore fans say obviously it petered out at the end and they felt cheated and everything and all of this for nothing but i only watched up to season four or five which apparently i've been told is a blessing like they said like it's really like you know see i I enjoyed the entire thing i think because i watched it later Mm. uh and where i could actually sit down and watch like the entirety of the thing i think i was off with surgery so i could I, i binge watched the entire thing so it didn't feel like it was getting better or worse. I feel like when you have those waits between season and you're waiting for so long and then it comes out and you're like yeah. disappointed or whatever, I didn't get that feeling. But I will say I will <clears throat> start to veer on the underrated side because I'm a massive fan of the storytelling in terms of like how many different stories and stuff were happening at the same time. La- like it is, it is more of a political drama than it is a fantasy. mm and they do like one thing I've always given Game of Thrones credit for is just as a storyline, like just as plot line C, like that'll be in the limelight and then it'll drift into yeah. the back and then B will take over and then A will take over C, which takes over that. And just as C looks like it's about to peter out the back, boom, it becomes immediately the most important thing in the storyline again. Yeah. And they, it, it, they time it perfectly for like what someone's attention span is. Yeah. I think it's I think it's really well done in that regard. So also, it's yeah, underrated for the, that. The hysteria, like you said, the hysteria of what was happening when it was coming out mm. was insane. Like everybody was into it. It was sick. And at the time, like we are there is so much good TV now. <coughs> that was like one of the first, like, this is better than movies like type of thing. Yeah, I think as well, because they didn't they didn't skimp out on like like the like the fan- fantasy side of it. They could have easily just like with say it's kind of spoilers here, but like things like dragons or other monsters and stuff, like mm. they didn't really have to show that. No, you know what I mean. But they didn't skimp out like when you when it was getting into that real epic moment, they delivered. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it could have those bits could have been underwhelming. Okay, the next one I have for you, <laughs> turtles. <laughs> <clears throat> underrated but i want my plastic straws back fair enough for me turtles overrated what? not franklin cool in the ocean like that's cool but turtles as pets got to be a sucky pet man <laughs> dude that thing just doesn't want to be there at all times it's like for fuck's sakes i'm in this box being fed this yuck lettuce all the time yes yeah, i, I like- can't do any tricks if i roll on my back i'm fucked Go to that one kid's birthday party and they've got a turtle. Yeah. You're like, yeah. Can I touch it? And you're like, oh, dude, yeah, like knock on its shell or something. You lift it up. It's just like reaching around like where's land, freaking <laughs> out. And then you put it back down and it's like, great. It's like hinged on a rock and its feet can't touch the ground. <laughs> and yeah. I, I've got no reasoning for overrated or underrated. Sweet. Last one, steroids. <laughs> I could go real like medical with it, but mm. like there's, there's a lot of steroids are good for certain people and for certain yeah. drugs and certain things that certain people need. 
Um, in that regard, I'd say it's underrated, but the overuse of it in, I don't know, being a gym bro, yeah, for, for me, is it's overrated. Sweet. I said underrated just because being jacked is pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> um, like would a, you, a little would bit you of actually do it though. Like if you were, that was like your lifestyle, like I guess. Yeah, one hundred percent. Fuck that. When you get older and stuff, like I will one hundred percent be doing like testosterone replacement therapy when I get older. <laughs> Dude, I I assume that I'm gonna peter out and have like little like low count or something like that. <laughs> Dude, jack me up. I want to feel like this forever. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, that's overrated or underrated. Overrated or underrated. So, yeah. All right. Should, like we wrap, should we put a bow on this thing with some yucks and yums, my friend? Yeah, man. Um, But, yeah, if uh, if you guys have any uh, overrated, underrated things, hit us up um, via Instagram or, or call in or whatever. Let us know. I do enjoy that. It's a good segment. All right, Andy, what is your yuck this week? Uh, I've got a couple, but I want to touch on, cause we, we've already touched on one. One is the like warriors, uh, streakers. And th- we've already touched on this, that they had in, um, Napier. They had yeah. the same in Hamilton last week. They and got until w- the 70th <coughs> minute. They were great. Great it, crowd. It was, but I, w- we were watching the ACC Yeah, and Di Hamwood said something and I completely agree. If you're gonna streak, it like it, it should be naked. Yes. If you're if you're That's closed, the they don't even call them streakers anymore. They're you, pitch invaders. Yeah, which is which is worse, right? Like because you you could be a threat to the like if yeah. you if you're running on nude, you're like you can see they got don't have any weapons on them or yeah, something, know. you know what I mean? Like, but that's the thing, like. You run on in your clothes, you're going to get a slap on the wrist and maybe a ban. You run on naked, you get charged for like indecent exposure. Do the fucking full Monty, all right? It go sh- to court for it. No, nah, but it should be the opposite. If you go on fully... <laughs> you know, my bad. It should, no, well, no, that's... I, I reckon if you go on fully clothed, mm. then you, like, you, give them, you slap the fucking rule book on them. If they're going on nude, eh... You know. You got to be... You got to be a bit of... $500 fine. You are the weapon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, come on, guys. So it's not necessarily about streakers. Just make sure you're nude. Yeah, get your hogs out. Yeah. Or breasts. <laughs> um, We're inclusive. Uh, all right, okay. That's, uh, let's call that last week's yuck. This week's yuck, uh, it's voting season. Oh, yeah. Fucking signs everywhere. Oh, yeah. Not too many out this way. Definitely back in, like, Massey and that you'd see them a lot more. I do not care. <laughs> Fair. <coughs> like... Uh, just let me know who <laughs> I, I don't care who's running for mayor in my my area or yeah it's all i'll never meet you or never <laughs> like you know get anything from you for like i don't care there'll be a day there'll be a day in the future where i'll say something that will pique my interests yeah, Until maybe, then, maybe, but my tar- targeted ads don't hit me with politics. <laughs> I don't watch TV like the news. No, you I saw my laptop. It's covered in <laughs> pork <bacon>. pictures. <laughs> <laughs> like I, uh, the only way that I'm ever going to see any like political like advertisement is when Sick, I'm driving yeah. home. Yeah, and it pisses me off. Uh, my yuck this week is gas stations that don't have the fast flow switch. I may have had this before. That you you purposely use the fast flu. Fuck yes, I do. True. Of course I do. I used it once and it scared the shit out of me. It makes it faster. Yeah, yeah, I know clearly. But if I, I now I, this is about to be something that is very, um, I aware, I am very aware that this is like a privilege. But when I am sitting at the pump, filling up my Ute, and I know. Like this is on this is a company fuel like okay, and some people don't have the privilege of being able to sit there and fill their car up and everything because the shit's expensive. But there are times if they do not have a fast flow switch, well, I will get legitimately bored at the pump, and <laughs> rather than filling up the car, I say that's enough. I'll just come back in a few days, <laughs> and, and so I can carry on rather than stand there 
and see it out. But if they've got a fast flow switch and that thing's going at more than a dollar, like if that thing's just like... Oh, you get the real slow ones that are like oh, kind of broken. Dude, and, and they like, cut off like two bucks early yeah. and then they just like peter over for that last little bit. Yeah, I, I like, feel oh, that. Dude, like when you get to a nice one that just goes full flow all the way to the end or like for like the last five cents, but when it cuts off like an old school Caltex type jobby <laughs> where it's like you got to wave out to the person to let you in, you can't freaking do it at the pump or something. I think um, I think that's like social media like brainwashing you. So Because you, if you're on like your phone... It, you want you you need things quick, you know, like you swipe, oh, yeah. swipe into the next thing, and yeah. you, you can't pull out your phone there. You can't vape there. You can't. So you literally stand. You use your phone there? No, you're not supposed to use electronics while you pump while the pump's. Yeah, going. but they say me to put your fucking phone on flight mode as well. Surely that's outdated now. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone's got a choice. Oh well, should we do yums? <laughs> <clears throat> we can do. We can do. Mine's uh oh shit. <sighs> Don't you love that shit? And that comes on, you just yeah, like, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is good. It's good. <laughs> that that that's a cold beer. <sighs> My yum this week. Very simple, as I am a simple man. The English Premier League is back, baby. Nice. Oh, I had Liverpool go. Came around so quick. One all draw with Chelsea. Mm. That's all right. I'll take it. First game of the season. Yeah. Big big club come come up against. So that's all right. But just the fact that it's come around again so quick, I am just like, yeah, it's all go eh? I'm, I'm, all the time. I'm baffled. Like constant. Like every season that it's like six weeks off maximum. It's or something like that. It's yeah. ridiculous. But. I am a very happy man to see the Premier League back. Nice. A lot more bets going down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my yum this week is really simple as well. Chicken tenders. Hell yeah. Up over at the Captain's Cafe up on Cadrona. Now I'm aware that things on the mountains, they can charge what they want and they charge you what they want. Everything is so expensive up there because what the hell else are you going to do? But I would rather bite into a nice hot chicken tender than a friggin' muesli bar that's been shoved down my back for half the day. Mm. I value the food more than the money. Yeah. So, but it's not just the mountain that was providing the good chicken tenders. I think that there has been a general, and this is a major shout out to Teagle, improvement in the at-home ability to cook from frozen chicken tenders, mainly in an air fryer, and still achieve a decent amount of chicken and a nice crumb. Mm. I think there has been huge steps in making the every man able to enjoy a potentially fast food classic without having to take your slippers off. <laughs> and that's my yum this week. Fuck yeah. Chicken tenders. I love that yum. That is, that is a <laughs> double yum. That, fuck, we really need to do the, uh, the 105 minutes. Yeah, I was thinking about it recently. We should. Do I it. think we just fucking do it, eh? We'll do, we'll do it. We'll do it. So yeah. Anyway, that's episode seventy three of Off Topic. Um, send your overrateds or underrateds in. We want to hear about that. Of course, I will put a post out when I see you next week. I will be a year older, celebrating a birthday later in the week. God damn, that came around quick, quick as well. Yeah, I know. I don't know where the year's going. Someone said something about Christmas today. <laughs> yeah, I was like. Gee. Dude, settle like, down yeah very quick we haven't, had, we haven't even had easter Shh. yet <laughs> shushed a grown man i said ah you turn around you go the other way you come back to me when the summer's here anyway guys we'll see you next week peace later <laughs>